For me, I'm a Lego geek. Uh, my grandpa bought me my first Lego set when I was two. That was 39 years ago, and my office at home is filled with Lego. Uh, my office at work has a few Lego sets. It's an important part of my life. And I like the analogy between Red Hat storage, where the base storage unit is a brick, and Lego is all about bricks. The SASTEL has been around for 100 years now, and it's a case of innovate or die. And if we can innovate, provide our customers with new services, new features, it allows our customers to be more engaged with SASTEL, and it allows SASTEL to be more successful as a business. Because we're owned by the government, our stakeholders are actually the entire province, the entire population. It means that we are ultimately accountable to everybody in the province. We have to make sure our services are available to our customers 24-7. We have to make sure that security, both in terms of our customers' personal information and their communication services, are secure at all times. Prior to Red Hat Storage, we simply had no cost-effective way to store massive amounts of the data that all of our network devices provide us. By utilizing Red Hat Storage, we were able to quickly and easily solve that problem. When we decided to take Red Hat Storage and move forward with a technical trial and eventually move into production, we prepared for a long, drawn-out experience. The exact opposite happened. Our technical trial took about two weeks because we couldn't hit any snags that we weren't able to handle quickly and easily. Aside from literally pulling the power out of the back of both servers simultaneously, Nothing we seem to do could phase the platform. If it's that stable when you're breaking the rules, it's going to be much more stable once you get into production and you're following the rules. The big benefit of dealing with Red Hat for SASTEL is the fact that when we're dealing with an issue, we deal with the same solution architect again and again and again. And they work together as a team. So if I'm having problems with Red Hat storage that's also affecting Red Hat Enterprise Linux, our teams work together, it's one email, send it to everybody, and then Red Hat runs with it and comes back with a concise answer. Because I've been dealing with Red Hat for several years, I've actually seen the importance of the open source methodology grow over the last few years. And it's not just a case of it's grown step by step by step, it's leaps and bounds. It used to be when you'd go to Red Hat Summit, hey, flag a guy down and talk to him. Now it's flag a whole bunch of guys down and talk to them and take their time. They're here to talk to you, the customer. It's grown from just being a, hey, we're Red Hat and we want to help you do cool stuff with open source too. Hey, we're Red Hat, we're open source and let's do cool stuff together.